In this video, you'll learn how to view Amazon Elastic MapReduce metrics in the Amazon Web Services Management Console, and how to use these reports to track your job flow's progress and performance. To begin, log into the Amazon Web Services Management Console and select the Elastic MapReduce tab. This shows the job flows you've launched. To view metrics for a job flow, click on it to bring up the job flow details pane. Select the Monitoring tab to view information about that job flow. This loads reports about the progress and health of the job flow. These metrics are updated every five minutes. For a close-up view of a metric, click on the graph to enlarge it. You can view how close a job flow is to finishing by comparing the map tasks running to the map tasks remaining, and by comparing the reduced tasks running to the reduced tasks remaining. You can analyze job flow performance by checking the read and write statistics to HDFS and Amazon S3, as well as the percentage of HDFS utilization. Check the health of a job flow by checking for missing blocks. This graph reports the number of blocks which aren't replicated in HDFS. These are often corrupted blocks. Another indicator of job flow health is the live data nodes report, which is the percentage of nodes receiving work from Hadoop. Nodes that are not receiving work have likely been blacklisted for being non-responsive. One of the most important measures to check is the is idle graph. This is a Boolean graph that is set to one if no tasks have run and no input output records have been updated in the previous five minutes. You can use this report to check for blocked or completed job flows that are still running and being billed. You can also view the Amazon Elastic MapReduce metrics from the CloudWatch tab of the AWS Management Console. For more details about the metrics reported by Amazon Elastic MapReduce, go to the Amazon Elastic MapReduce Developer Guide, available online.